Hello, children. Are you ready for some cutting up and kiki? Are you ready for a gay old time? Well, I hope you are, because now it's time for a Hey Queen with your host, Johnny McGovern. <laughs> Hey Queen, it's just a good old fashioned kiki. Hey Queen, we're cutting up with Johnny. Hey, 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 hey Queen. Ah! Hello, my alluring angels of the airwaves, and welcome to another BAM episode of Hey Queen with me, your host, Johnny McGovern. Category is pageants. We have a legend with us today, honey. She's the ultimate pageant queen. You've seen her on RuPaul's Drag Race season three and the OG All-Stars, does that exist? The stunning, the beauty, the sparkle that is, Alexis Mateo is here today. <laughs> yeah. But before she flexes her flawlessness out here, there's another queen that I gotta give you the 411 on. She's a legend too, you know. If she were a Christian Slater movie, she'd be the legend of Billy Queen. <laughs> this woman is the warm, comforting broth and the ramen of my world. She's fab and she's got the gift of gab. It's Miss Lady Red Couture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hey, cutie. Well, hey, what's going on with you? I'm just impressed. Baby, you remind me of that new movie, uh, Bumblebee. Well, oh, it ain't new no more. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, a gigantic, clunky robot goes no! through the motions. There we go. This no! show's gonna be great. I just thought you were like a transformer. I am a transformer. Ooh, a Decepticon. Uh, yes, <laughs> because I look butch, but no. underneath... <laughs> um, uh, did you <sighs> mug Lady Holiday uh, I, for her baseball baby, diamonds? I beat bitches up in the back out of the get out. I wanted the jewels today. I was like, I'm going to do everything. And uh, you know, these are so heavy. So heavy. Like, are those oh my God. super glued to your ear? Baby, they are stitched. <laughs> stitched. <laughs> you got out a needle and thread. Okay, for <laughs> real. <laughs> and the uh, lovely oh, mini dress. This ensemble given to me by a girl who can no longer fit it because she lost so much weight. Oh, well, who is that? Eureka. Oh, well, very <laughs> pretty. <laughs> <laughs> well, two, uh, two things. Congratulations, Eureka, yes. your weight loss. And congratulations <laughs> to Lady Red on your your new dress. <laughs> well, honey, we have a bam of a show today. I'm excited. The one and only uh -huh. Alexis Mateo is in the house. Oh my God, oh it's my going God. to be fantastic. Well, then you, yeah, there was kind of a clue to what I'm wearing, you know, all of the pageant jewelry. Uh, oh, yes. For my pageant sister. That's right. You know what I'm saying? When they bring it, bitch, you gotta bring it too. You know what <laughs> yes, I'm saying? You do. Yes, she, you do. Yes, you do. No, she's gonna come out here and let have. Oh, she is. And she's gonna let us have it right after this very gay break. See you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, today is not only the star of RuPaul's Drag Race, but honey, she's also a mother, a wife, and a winner. It is, of course, Alexis Mateo! Yeah! <laughs> Hi! Well, uh, I feel like I should not only say, hey, queen, but also say, <laughs> bam! Bam all the time. Hey, how are you? I'm good, hun. I'm so excited hey. to be here. This is so... Me, alone. I feel like a home. <laughs> yes, with all of your pageant experience, this set seems yes. like you'd be right at home in it. It's just made for me. I love it. Sparkles and all. Bam. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> this you. is giving me almost a Pepper Labasia moment right yes. there. Always. Love you have it. To inspire yourself with the true queens, honey. Yes. Speaking of true queens, Lady Red, we had more of a kiki than normal in the dressing room today. Y'all were having a good time. <laughs> well, you know, I'm so privileged when girls come a little early. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Doesn't always happen that way. Yes. <laughs> but don't she look good? I'm so happy we're here to promote her new movie, Life Size 2. Oh, ooh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she is a doll. It's, yes. it's, but not, it's an inflatable doll kind of spirit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to the show, doll. Thank Finally, you. we I'm got excited. you on the Sparkle Finally, couch. finally. 
but it's okay. Yeah. It's worth the wait. <laughs> yes, and you've certainly <laughs> been super busy. Yes. You've been building the Mateo Drag Empire, yes, darling. Yes, it has been a good experience for me, and finally this year I was like, it's going to be for me too, so here I am. Yeah, you're right, because, I mean, one of you have three daughters, right? Yes. Vanjie, Victoria, yeah. and Gen Genevieve. Genevieve. Very and also nice. I have a daughter named Nivana. Oh, okay. It's, we don't want to forget four her. of them, yeah. It's four of them. Uh -huh. Now, what is the process of finding the girl who will be lucky enough to be getting to the family? <laughs> For me, it was a different experience, because they're all, are, like, my friends, you know? So these people has been, like part of my journey as a drag queen. So not only they're fabulous entertainers themselves, but they're also my personal friends. And people always go like, oh my God, I want to be your daughter, and I want to be part of the Mateo Empire, and things like that. I'm like, I'm kind of like a selective person, because it's the boy Alexis who trains them to be fabulous drag queens. And I'm as a boy, I'm more shy and more selective. So I normally just one day woke up and I was like, you know what? You guys are such a wonderful talent. I just gonna help you all be my daughters. Mm -hmm. That's how we, everything started. It's just like that. Because you found Vanjie was your backup dancer. Yeah, Vanjie was my backup dancer for pageants and for drag race tours and I remember every time I used to tell Vanessa, you're gonna be a fabulous drag queen. He was like, I would never. Because he was... <laughs> Very <laughs> anti-drag, you know? <laughs> and he used to have these three hairs that she called a goatee, and she used to um, shave her head. And oh, she hold was, on one second. She, <laughs> shade! <laughs> but she was always in denial that she was a drag queen, and I was like, you will be, trust me. And guess what, I won. Yes, you yeah, did! I won. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did win, sweetie. <laughs> because that was last year was a Vanji year. Yes, and I was very excited that people saw what I saw initially on Vanessa because I was like, oh my God, he has such a great personality. And he was always great with makeup and hair and great performer, so I was like, yes, finally. I was kind of scared, though, because uh -huh. he went home first, and I was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> you were like, my but, legacy. Yeah, I, was, I even asked him, I was like, did you use my last name, bitch? <laughs> Just in case, but I was like, yeah, no, he was gonna do wonderful, so I'm very excited for him to took over the entire internet. Yes. And became a legend. Yeah, the Mateo name was oh everywhere I was so once excited. again. I said, I'm going to ride on this bitch tail for the next <laughs> six months, bitch. <laughs> As you deserve it. As it a was good fun. Mama. It was fun. It was, to, it was great to see him. And um, I know he was scared. He went back home and he was like, we're going to watch the episode together. I'm not going to work anywhere. And he kept crying and he was nervous. And, and I keep watching the episode. I was like, oh my gosh, you did so good. Like, I was like, expecting something worse, but you did good, <laughs> bitch, I'm proud of you. So the nightmare was over, and then we woke up the next day and we realized that he was the next sensation. Yeah. Incredible, and right? It was totally incredible. It was amazing. And did you then have to be like, now the training really begins? Uh -huh, no, I was like, well, baby boy. It's your time to do everything by yourself now because you're on the road. Mm -hmm. And he's, he did a great, he did a great job. Yeah, he's doing really it. Great. great job. I was excited for him. Now, uh, when he was here, he was telling us what it's like at the Mateo house when you uh, all are <laughs> hanging out, watching pageant uh, videos, it's sewing. Yeah, so it's tell me about cam, taking there and let me know what that's like. It is, it's just it's just crazy because I sometimes I don't realize how much I put into it, into like they are around me and they're like, bitch, you're obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> but I got like, it's part of my life already and it's, it has become like a social event in my house. When I call everybody in, everybody's doing something, getting ready for a competition or auditioning for drag race or learning dance routines and everybody gets assigned a little thing. You know, like everybody, you get to sew, you get to stone, you get to choreograph, everybody do rehearsals, everybody's together all the time and it becomes like a big group of people and, and when one of them is competing or doing a fabulous show, everybody is backing that person up. So it's so great to see them get so close, you know. When we call each other like a family, it's literally like a family. Because when I moved from Puerto Rico here, I didn't have nobody else. My family stayed down there. So right. the people are my family here. So I take them very serious. 
And the girls are doing good, not just Vanjie, but the yeah. other girls are snatching trophies. Trophies, and they are becoming such a great entertainers. Um, Victoria just joined a full-time cast member position for the Hamburger Mary's Corporation, and Genevieve has won several titles, and Vanessa headlines everywhere. I mean, like, these girls are... Pretty sure I'm following my footsteps. Yeah. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'm excited about them. That's incredible. <laughs> now, you had um, some, as you started to get into the drag scene, there were three drag mentors that you talked about yes. who helped you. You want to talk about that yes, a little bit? Yes, of course. When I, when I first started my first drag pageant, okay, let me tell you this. Parliament House in Orlando has a full-time cast member um, that each one of them needed to pick a girl to put them in a newcomer pageant. Oh. And one of the cast members didn't have a girl. So I got approached by the um, director, Darcel Stevens, and he was like, um, Alexis, I got you. <laughs> 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 Alexis, I got you a girl. And you're gonna, she's going to be your coach. And I got my first coach, and that's when I met Coco Montrese. Oh, wow. Coco Montrese was my first pageant coach ever. And she put me in the pageant, and she literally just took me by the hand and put me in pageants. But it was not until I met Calvin of Orlando, Alicia Markstone, and Corey Stevens mm -hmm. that the magic really happened, you know? Because yeah. I started discovering who I was and how I wanted to look like and where I was comfortable in, you know? And they took me by the hand. One was a great um, designer. The other one was beautiful with hair and makeup, and the other one knew everything about business when it comes to drag. So those were like the fairy godmothers that <laughs> took me by the hand and took me in a journey that created Alexis Mateo. I mean, that I don't think you can ask for anything better no, than No, it was like, uh, it was a Cinderella. I'm telling you, my life is a Cinderella story, bitches, for real. <laughs> it was just that this glass slipper was a size 14, bitch. <laughs> it is what it is, but it was, my life was literally a Cinderella story, for real. <laughs> Make sure that you are joining us on Patreon at patreon.com slash TV for three exclusive podcasts you can't find anywhere else. Hey Queens, thanks for watching. For part two of this interview, click here. For more Hey Queen fabulousness, click here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>